A large saucepan is a core piece of equipment that we here at the Test Kitchen think every home cook should own. The price and quality can vary widely. So Adam's here to show us if we really need to shell out the big bucks for a great saucepan. You know, we have this lineup of 10 saucepans. They're all fairly large size, three to four quart. The price range was from about $19 to about $215. Hmm. And we concentrated on core cooking tasks for the test. We sauteed onions, we steamed rice, we blanched green beans, we browned butter, and we made custard in all of these things. Okay. This one is made from anodized aluminum, which is an electromagnetic process that hardens and darkens the aluminum. This one sauteed a little too fast for us. When we are sauteing onions, we want a nice slow to moderate mm -hmm. cooking pace so that they brown evenly. Right. And if you get distracted for a second, you walk away, you answer the phone, you don't burn something. We did abuse testing as well. We did some thermal shock testing where we heated up these pans and then plunged them into ice water to mm -hmm. check for warping. And we took them out back and bashed them against a concrete <laughs> ledge three times. Our neighbors were so happy. Oh man, were they. <laughs> some of them survived better than others. This one, not I don't so know much. If you can see, didn't survive that well. Also, we got a loose handle on this. So we got dents, scratches, and a loose handle. Not good. Not good. Let's talk about this one now. This one has a construction called disc base, which means that just the base of the pan, just the underneath, is a sandwich of three metals. It's aluminum in the center with stainless steel on the outside and the inside. But the walls of the pan are just stainless steel. And what testers encountered with this is that right where the disc base and the thin stainless steel walls of the pan met, they would get some burning, custard overcooked, mm. onions overbrowned. They also found that because of the curved sides, a little harder to see in there and see what was going on with your browned butter. Okay. That can go from a beautiful hazelnut color and a nice nutty flavor to burnt and bitter really mm -hmm. quickly. You have to keep an eye on it, especially towards the end of cooking, which was hard to do in this one because of the curved sides. It was hard to do in those two because of the dark interior. The rest of the pens in the lineup were all fully clad. And that means that those three layers of metal on the bottom of this one run across the bottom and up the sides. The entire body of the pan is bonded three or more sometimes layers of metal. Okay. These pans tend to be a little more expensive, but that construction is really designed to heat evenly reasonably quickly and we like it a lot. Mm -hmm. But we did have problems with some of these guys. They can get really heavy. So Purdue, why don't you pick that one up and tell me what you think? It is a two-handed operation here. <laughs> really heavy. That pan is four pounds, 12 ounces, empty. Really hard to hold up when you're pouring from it. There is nothing in there, you're right. <laughs> And when you are holding it up to pour from it steadily or holding it with one hand and scraping something out with a spatula, that's a lot of weight to handle. It is a lot of weight, Definitely. yeah. Definitely. This guy had a problem because this handle, which is sort of comfortable but mm -hmm. a little short, got really hot during Very cooking. close to the pan. Yeah. yeah. Didn't like that one so much. Then we get to this pan, which I know is going to be familiar to you. Very much so. This is the all clad. This is a terrific pan. This is one testings before. We've used them in the test kitchen for almost two decades. Check out this handle. Very comfortable. It's got that cup shape that kind of anchors it right, in your hand. Right. It didn't get too hot. It feels like holding a good tennis racket. Exactly. <laughs> and so this is our winning saucepan, Bridget. This is the all-clad stainless four-quart saucepan. From not a cheap pan. It's $179.13. So we actually named a Best Buy, which okay. has also won previous testings. This Cuisinart multi-clad unlimited four-quart saucepan with cover, $65.12 for this one. But you know what? Its performance was pretty Pretty good, and for that kind of price difference, we're happy to recommend this one as well. Well, there you go. Our winner is the All Clad Stainless Four Quart Saucepan, and the price is one seventy nine and thirteen cents. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later. <laughs>